Boy, sometimes I walk in the art room, and you know what I see? I see a lot of ruined brushes. It's really too bad. Younger artists sometimes forget to take them out of the water cup. And then the bristles fall out, the wood splits. It's just a mess, I tell you. If I could give you one piece of advice to all young artists of today, I would tell them to never leave their brushes in the water cup because they're going to fall apart and be ruined, and that would be a shame. Observe the color and value of your flower carefully so you can plan how to paint it. You have a large, medium, and small brushes. The large is meant to hold a lot of water. Clean water is to fill each space with water, water to wash your brushes, and your watercolors. Before you start, prepare your paints by adding water to the colors you're going to use. <laughs> Observe the color of your flower carefully. I see the lighter whitish near the bottom. It gets pinker and then even darker pink towards the top. And it's this petal right here. We made our color plan. We'll start by painting the shape with water. Use your big brush and the clear water. Outline the shape, then fill it in. Make sure it's quite wet. Not puddles, but quite wet. Add color with the medium or small brush. Only drop the color on the edge of the space and then let it spread on its own. This color is not as intense as I'd like yet, so I'll add some more color. If you end up with a water puddle that's too big and might overflow, or if you use too much color, you can use a tissue to soak up some of that extra liquid. So this petal is soaking wet, so I'm not gonna paint the part next to it. I'll skip over to a little further away so that my colors don't end up bleeding together. So I'll start by painting the space with water. I see the colors orange-yellow here, up in a lighter yellow. It's very intense red, darker on the edges, and more magenta on the end. Now, once you paint your shape with water, this paper is designed to soak in water, so you might notice if your paint's not spreading a lot, like the one right here, it may be that the water has already soaked in and you need to paint even more water onto that petal. So anytime your paint's not spreading, it means that you need a little more water in that spot. As you're painting, you might notice an area you've already done needs to change a little. Maybe the color should be brighter or lighter or darker or a little different. You can always go back and add more or change a little more. Remember with a wash, you don't need to brush much. Just put your color in, let it spread on its own, add more water if you need to. Always look at your work even if you think you're done. 
looking at this, the middle is a little bit too light compared to the flower and um, for this painting, it's just a little too bright. The contrast is too much, so I'll add a little bit more yellow. That was a little too much yellow, so I'll dab it a tiny bit with my tissue. 